Good afternoon, traders. It is Wednesday, February 26, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, I almost thought we were going to get a rally going today in the Dow. Uh, it opened higher, and up here, uh, up there, we're, it was up over 300 points. Looked pretty good. And then some clown in the government made some comments about the coronavirus and that just panicked everything and down it went again officially closing down 224 points but regardless this um, downside pressure on the Dow is really running out of steam and it wouldn't surprise me if we see upside movement um, tomorrow uh, I think you heard my comments about the corona virus yesterday. I think this is um, being way overblown and pushed uh, by the media and others, possibly for political reasons. And the facts really don't support the hysteria that causes huge sell-off in the Dow over uh, four, four days or so. So uh, I'm expecting that um, the, the market is very smart about recognizing uh, rumors and all that. And I really do think this is going to turn around very quickly it could even start tomorrow and when we do we're going to see um, uh, some strong upside move in the overall market anyway okay what kind of day we had we had on the face of things we had a pretty good day we closed out almost thirty thousand dollars in closed out trades we got into three new positions one positive two negative and um, we're carrying positive just over $2,000. Now, normally that would be a very good day, you got to admit. But it was slightly bittersweet, but I'm not complaining too much about any of this because we really did so well. But let me kind of discuss the bittersweet nature here by showing you um, three of the charts on trades that we took. This first one uh, I'm showing, oh, I did not mean to show this one first. Let me see if I can do this quickly. Okay, this is TVIX, and that is, of course, um, volatility shares. Um, inverse overall market and I showed you this yesterday uh, going <clears throat> all the way back to Thursday we got into this got out on Friday got back in on Friday big gap up on Monday out on Tuesday yesterday re-entered yesterday closed with about five thousand dollars there and then when the Dow opens up of course TVIX goes down and we ended up getting stopped out here uh, with negative about two thousand dollars you remember I said on this re-entry strategy that if I said yesterday if this thing goes south we're we can lose that five thousand dollars in profit but we're not going to lose the thirty thousand dollars plus that we already made in this stock and that turned out to be pretty prophetic because we did lose that five thousand dollars in profit added a couple more thousand dollars negative to it nevertheless 
we're out of that last trade in TBIX with slightly less than a $2,000 loss. And I'm not complaining. But this pattern repeated itself in a couple other energy stocks, or rather, um, well, TBIX and UVI, UVXY did the same thing. So uh, our equity went down there. there. You understand we got out with just shy of $30,000 profit. We had, um, I think, 55000 or something on the close yesterday. We had 51000 on the open this morning. By the time we get out, got out, that's down to about $30,000. So, hey, I'm not complaining. All right. Next, let me sh show you the big one. But it also shows you, like, you know, our algorithm is working, but it's not working perfectly. And, of course, no algorithm can work perfectly, but... This one, ours actually was working perfectly for a few days. We got, this is DRIP, which is inverse uh, oil and gas exploration. We got into this on Friday, big gap up on Monday. Mo stronger, more movement yesterday. And so we're hanging on to this thing. And it basically got up this morning to where we got or where it closed yesterday and we took twenty eight thousand dollars in profit out of drip right there twenty eight thousand dollar trade can't complain about that but look this thing just kept going it wouldn't have had to gone too much further and we would have been re-entered into this and that would have scared the bejesus out of me it didn't happen uh, but probably from this point to the high here would have added like six or seven thousand dollars to the twenty eight thousand that we already took out of it. But again, I'm not going to complain about that. But I'm just showing you this. Uh, uh, you know, the algorithm cannot be perfect. It's just and it wasn't perfect today. And then finally, let's go back here. And I can do it here. I don't want that. I want this one. <laughs> this, after all that stuff with the stuff we've been trading the last three, four days, I just figured nothing more was going to happen. Well, something did happen. This is TNXP, which is Tonics, Tonics Pharmaceuticals. It's a penny stock. And it's been in our portfolio. Not, not much of anything has been happening with it. Yesterday on the close, Tonics was... 40 cents a share and with a stock that cheap we just buy huge number of shares I bought over 65,000 shares of this thing at 40 cents a share I still not laying out any more than $30,000 for 65,000 um, shares but I get into this thing and with my $30,000 investment within minutes I was up over $22,000 $23,000 within profit on this thing unbelievable I mean that's within 90 minutes of getting in I was showing Twenty-two or twenty-three thousand dollars profit in Tonics Pharmaceuticals, and I thought, "Oh my! Are we, we going to have another one of these great days? This system is unbelievable. We can't lose." <laughs> and then, but 
I've seen this so many times, people, with these very low-priced penny-type stocks. They can have these fabulous run up, but then the profit takers come in and the short sellers come in and, yeah, they don't want to stay up there. And it, it faded. And so by the time it closed, we're down to $4,600 that we're holding with that. Now, I'm going to tell you, this thing could gap up again tomorrow. Uh, I mean, we could we could see these these profit levels tomorrow. It could happen, but it can also go the other way. And right now, I have no idea. All I know is I'm holding 65,000 shares of this of this uh, pharmaceutical company that uh, is is a penny stock. So we'll just have to take a deep breath and see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, it was not a bad day at all. Uh, we made excellent money. Um, I, I totaled up the spreadsheet uh, today after closing the market. We're just over $200,000 in profit for February, and we have two days to go. We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's the way it went. Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Thursday.